What's up guys, welcome back to this new video and the last video for the Halloween Cup because tomorrow it's the Electric Cup time and I will do that. So I I made a nice team for the end and with the new Pokemon Houndstune that came out with the Halloween event. Now it's a bit late but it will be assisted by Golisapod and Toxapex and Golisapod makes it debuted mm. by me, I think. <laughs> but it's more of a video for Houndstune. I already tested uh, one streak. I won three times, so that was very decent. And yeah, this is a good Pokemon to go against. The only Pokemon that are not good against are like Bellicent. And the Sable Eye, but I didn't saw Sable Eye yet. Oh, and Greninja against this one. So that's why I got in the back two Pokemon that are pr pretty good against Greninja. He goes for Ice Beam. Can let it go. He is he has a carving. And I noticed all pe all the people have carvings in their team, so <laughs> Yeah, a bit annoying, but that's fine. And it, this one isn't even 1500 CP like the others. But I can handle it very easily. He goes for Rock Slide, it's fine. I will go for a little over farm, then dropping the Sludge Wave at him. To do some quite some damage, but he I think he can make it yeah just yet to an another move, but that's fine. It's totally fine. I think then uh, Swellot will come back, but that's fine. Yes, I think I will just go for the. I think I can make it to another Brian, so that's why I choose Brian over the Sludge Wave right now. He's shielding, interesting to see that. But I can make it to another Brine. That's very good. I always like those moments. Then I'm almost KOing the Swellot with Houndstoom. But Houndstoom can just die by the Sludge Bomb. It's fine. Then I will bring out my Toxapex. Yes, he's still attacking me. That's very nice. He could save this Pokemon, but it's okay. I didn't want to get any damage with Golisopod, and because Garbing is dead, I should be good against the last, yes, like Toxicroak. Only a Golbat will be a bit bad, but we didn't sell that Pokemon. Luckily enough, but yeah, first uh, match one. So let's hop into the second one. Mm. Against Naxal, going Houndstoon against Dragalgy. I didn't know how it is against the Dragalgy, but. My backline isn't good against Dragalgy, so I'll keep it for right now. Um, I will shield it, why not? It was a CMP time, but unfortunately I lost it. But I can make it to a Psychic thing. That will do quite some damage. But it didn't land. <laughs> Switching, making you catch on Toxapex. I think that's the best one at this point. Uh, Crunch does quite some damage against the Toxapex. He will make it to another Crunch, I know that. I'm letting it go, I can uh, decently tank that. Still no defense fell, it's not nice. Right now I'm going just for the Sludge Wave. 
to do some massive damage against this Trapian. Oh, and it's very nice that he doesn't shield this one. He could go for bait, and if not, then Houndstune can just do his chitting thing. Um, he goes for another crunch. Should be able to KO him. Yes, okay, that's very nice. Will Dragalji come back or something? Yeah, okay. Very happy to get that Azumarill right now. Because Golizapod isn't good against that one. And we'll just throw the Psychic thing. That will do uh, enough amount of damage. Another Psychic thing. He's switching. Can make it to another Psychic thing. <laughs> I will switch to. He has to throw the Aquatil. So I will let this go. Absolutely nothing against me. And I can, I think, Shadow Claw down. So I have to be careful because he could possibly make a catch. But I, th I think he will go for a back to back play rough almost. And I have just to throw some aerial aces at him. I don't think uh, Play Rough will KO me. Making it to another aerial ace, this will still not KO the, the Azumarill. Almost. But now it's the question will Play Rough do enough? Hey, that rhymes. Um, I think... No. And time one. Ooh. Very close. And I think otherwise, Houndstune could make the KO. So... It's, uh, it was fine. Which you're hopping right now into the third match, I think. For now, it's going great. <laughs> I don't think uh, people expect mm. Houndstune. And uh, I catched yesterday one in the wild, so I just evolved it and it became very nice. But not for the 1500 CP. <laughs> so. Then I had to trade some <laughs> with a friend. And then it uh, went very nice. I don't like that warmer than at this point. <laughs> so I'll just throw some brines. That will do just do absolutely nothing. Ah, he's finally ticking, I think, with Iron Head. <laughs> No bug pass. Okay. Going for brine. It will still do almost nothing. Um. Yeah, I'm a bit afraid that I have to throw a shield away. Houndstune. No catch. Ah. Uh. Sadly, um, yeah, I think it's the bug bus, so I have to shield it. No, he baits. Okay, good to know. No, we can make it at the end to another iron head. That was his uh, thing to do. Dragolgy. I uh, will throw the aerial ace at him, but yeah, I will fortify because I'm unable to win. He got the better Pokemon in the lead. 
if he started if he started with I think Trigalchi or something like that, it will be a lot better. Mm. Then I could have my maybe my uh Goliza pot against the warmer than Toxapex against Crafty. But right now we're having a nice lead against the Nida Queen. So I'll just go straight for the psychic thing here. It will do quite some damage with these shields. So that's a bit of a mistake from the opponent. Um you know I, I like to switch. I like the shield here. Okay, he goes for a many pass. We'll switch into Tuxapex. So we both do almost nothing to each other. So that's that's fine. He goes for fall play. He will make it to another fall play. Just before I can make it to a sludge wave. Um But he got wing attack instead of snarl, so he's doing more fast move pressure than just snarl. But sludge wave does quite some damage. He will make it to a full play soon. But I can win CMP and make a brain earlier than he does. To KO him. Nina Queen will return, but I can make it to a brine. So he has to throw a move on me. No, he's catching it on Umbrian. And that's where a little awful thing happens. I don't have Ixis or on Goliath path. And that's uh, maybe a little problem here. He goes for fall play. You can think one of those. I'll go for the liquidation. It will do some quite some damage. But it's still an Umbrian, so very defensive. But I got the defense fell. I should be able to tank this fall play. Yes. At this point I will go for another liquidation that will bring the Umbrian into the red. Um, and I will throw in my Tuxapex while he is throwing just his thing. <laughs> so that's fine. You know, instead of the Psychic Fang, I will go first for the Dick the shielding oh no. Um, yeah. He throws the Poison Fang. It's good that he <laughs> throws an attack. But that Umbrian still got some HP left. Okay, I can make two Psychic Bang. I uh, needed to do that earlier. <laughs> this will KO the Nido Queen. I should be able to KO the Umbrian with a Sliverage of HP. I'm winning, making my third win in the first streak. So that went very nice. Then hopping into the next match, the last match of the first three. Mm. Hopefully, this one goes good as well, like the others. Against Alligator, <laughs> going Houndstune against Greninja. Here is where it goes wrong. <laughs> I will just throw a Tuxapex. Yes, he is a warmer than.
Yeah, I have to throw some brines at him. That's uh, the only option I can do here. Brine does some damage, not too much. He will throw, I think, the bug pass, like the other dude earlier. Okay, that's fine. I will throw my brine then. Still does some little damage against the warmer then. And he can just KO me. But I'm a bit afraid that he got something nice in the back. So we'll go for a lick farm down with Hound's Tune. He goes for Iron Head, I can handle that. Hopefully he cannot make it to another one. No. Not uh, in the end. I will go for the dick here. To do uh, some damage against the Greninja, and then I will go for Shadow Claw. But the opponent got a Fortress. That's not the best one. But I will go for the Liquidation. A very nice direct hit. I will bait with the Aerial Ace. This a uh, nice amount of damage. Um, I don't need it. He goes just for the mirror shot, I can handle that. He goes for back to back mirror shot. I'm letting it go once again. Maybe I should shoot that. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I don't like that Greninja still. No, I cannot uh, win this, and so I'm letting this go. But at the end, I won three times with this team, like I did uh, by my own. So it's still okay ish. Getting a nice sheep as a reward. Um, maybe it's a hundo. I don't know. Almost. Claim my rank back to sixty nine. And then, uh, we're hopping into the second streak. Mm. And uh, hopefully, still does quite some uh, good damage. Starting against Dragalchi, very nice because the backline is very bad against Dragalchi. Oh, he keeps going with the Dragon Tail. Okay, that's fine. I will just throw the Psychic thing here. I will shoot this one. Maybe the next one I will let go. I will see that. He goes for Aqua Tail. But he can uh, make a move er earlier than I do. I will shield this one too. But the problem is, it's a charger bug, and I'm not good against the charger bug with all of my Pokemon. So I hope Dick lands, but still it does not do a ma good amount of damage. Yeah, I think a charger bug with Crunch, Core Breaker, little. <laughs> Going just for a brine. <laughs> it should KO the charger pack. No, we shielding. Why are you shielding? 
just making me annoy. Just doing some annoying things. Um, yeah, I don't think I can uh, get Owen with Houndstune, so I have to go for think who might glide about them. Even while he is just up into the discharge already, so I have to switch after this. Okay, he noticed that I will catch it. I'm going for Goliath apart. Charger Buck is ready. Oh no. Yeah, that will uh, KO me. <laughs> He expected that they would switch, and I expected that he would throw straight his move. Yeah, I had to be patient, but okay. Was just 50% chance here. But it's still fine. Um, hopping into the second match of the second streak. Mm. Hopefully this one uh, I will win. Going Houndstune against the Golbat. Golbat is still a bit of a tricky one because it has Shadow Ball. That's super effective against me. Which is more like a Neo Queen Pokemon. That will just throw straight the Psychic Things. I think he will shield it. Maybe? No, okay. So then I will go for Lick Farm down. I will shield this one. It's the Shadow Ball. Oh, that's very nice. Indeed. He cannot make it to another Shadow Ball. I know that. I will throw a dick at the Umbreon. Then I will switch into my Goliath pod. But he has Toxapex like I do. Okay. Um, maybe I could go better for Liquidation instead of Aerial Ace. Because Aerial Ace just absolutely does nothing. I will go for Learn Liquidation then. Try to get the defense fell from the opponent. This does, this does the same amount of damage like an aerial ace. Um, he will go for the sludge wave. That's fine. He can just KO me. Because I have still my uh, Toxapex left. Here I will go for just the psychic things. And I can lick down. Mm, you know, I want to, I really want to have one psychic things against him. Okay, he's going for back to back. Okay. And goes for fall play. It's fine, but I really hope he doesn't have psychic. Cool, but potentially have Psychic on his Umbrian. Here I will just throw a Brine. If he has Psychic then he can win, otherwise not. Uh... No, he has Psychic, oh no. I will lose then. Yeah, I will not win this. <laughs> and he made it already to a fall play. Now, if he didn't have Psychic, then uh, I could potentially win. But just, Umbreon is just too fast with 
making moves. And then I can just cannot do anything mm. against it. But still, it's fine. Against Paulicia, I think. Houndstune against Dragalgi. They are throwing poison types at the front. I know these are carvings. I don't play this time to a CMP tie. I don't want to risk anything. Then go away for some leaks and then the psychic thing. He shields it, okay, very nice. This time I'm win oh no, he doesn't play it to a CMP time, but that's fine. Psychic Fangs, he shields it. Switching to Toxapex. I don't think he has, or well, maybe he has Outrage, but I can handle that. I can tank that very easily. This isn't another Outrage, this is just Aquatil. Yeah, nice try. But I got a Sludge Wave ready or a Brine. So this should be okay. I'm going just for back to back Brine. I think that's better than watch one Sludge Wave. But I saw a Cobat in the back. So I have to be careful for that. Um. No, Toxapec, I mean uh, Garbing is pretty much dead. But we'll throw the rock slide. And a Colbert in the back isn't a good thing for me, so I have to overfarm quite. Have to make it to a back to back liquidation. Then I will throw one liquidation. That will KO the carving. Then I will throw a liquidation on the coal bed. I think I, the best thing I can do is switch. No, I cannot make it to. Oh, just yet. I cannot make it to psychic things. If I could, then I should win it. But yeah, I cannot do anything against the Shadow Corbett. Um, yeah, this streak doesn't go as well as I thought. Mm. So I will do another streak after this one. Just to make some wins. <laughs> against Aryan. Going Houndstune against Bellosend. This is interesting one. Because he I do super effective lick damage. But he deals super effective damage with Shadow Ball. But I will just throw here a psychic thing. He will throw a brine at me that's just almost a little damage we say <laughs> then i will switch into my own tax attacks and because his defense is dropped, he can only make it to two sludge wave instead of three i think one maybe i don't know <laughs> no he can make it to another one sludge wave so I will just keep my energy. This will be another sludge wave. I think. Yes. That's fine. 
then uh, the sand castle comes back. I will throw brines at him. One brine. And going for another brine. Here. This one he will shield, I know that. He will make it to 100 energy, but he has to throw one scorching sense, otherwise he's dead. So then it's time for Houndstune. I'll just throw Psychic Thing to not be shielded. Psychic Things can KO the Pelosant with a lick just before he can attack me. I'll throw just the Psychic Things at the Azumarill. And Glycopod should finish the job. I'll just throw a liquidation, try to get the defense fail here. But I think it's only 10% from the liquidation. I don't know, but it still does the same amount of damage like an aerial ace. So maybe I will just throw the aerial ace instead. But I'm winning, I think, CMP. Or are you just going for a fortify? No, he still keeps going on and on. <laughs> Player off almost doesn't nothing because I shielded. But still, I think Eliza put in. This cup was very good, but I didn't use it that much. Maybe I should go for Glycopod earlier, but I made a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, I was very happy. I made a... Uh, mm. Finally, the um, I the evolution of Galpin. I lost. Oh, we got the same lead. Oh, I really li li like that. Houndstune against Houndstune. Really nice. Really like that. But he wins CMP. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Um. Yeah, Psychic Things almost does nothing, so can just throw Psychic Thing too. But the question is, who will be KO'd first? No! He will KO me. So I'll throw Galizapod then. <laughs> will he have a Carbon in this team or not? Why am I always having the bad Pokemon? <laughs> in my team. I always question that. Why do I have always the the, be, um, the worst Pokemon? Going for liquidation. Then going for my own Toxapex. He will switch I think. No he's not switching. Okay that's fine. But Glycopod did uh, some nice amount of damage. I think he's weak to water, otherwise he wouldn't stay longer with tox his Toxapex. Maybe something like Balor Sand in the back or like... I don't know. I think something with ground. He shields even the Sludge Wave from me. Yes, he will win CMP. Oh, he can go for the brine. I can uh, take that. 
I did not want to risk anything. I will just throw the sludge wave on him. Why are you shielding it? Oh, it's... No, I should go for the liquidation and notice that right now. <laughs> yes, that will bring the Shadow Alolan Ninetales to the red. And this the poison jab does more than I expected against this thing. Yeah, my mistake. But still, I have made it to a brine. And I can throw this sludge wave. Wait, will I be able to KO the his stocks packs? No way! Oh my gosh, I just won. <laughs> Didn't expect it there by my mistake, but I think this was, I think, the better option. Hmm, interesting. Two times at the end, okay. That's fine. And then we're hopping into the last freak of this Halloween Cup for this year. Mm. But next year I will be back. Hopefully. <laughs> Against Magic Martens. Going Houndstune against Zwylas. Ooh. It's not a good one. <laughs> I will switch straight into Toxapex. And I think I should go for Glycopod. Uh Does he have Psychic or just Fall Play and Shadow Ball? I think he has Psychic. No, he just has Shadow Ball, but that does more damage than I expected that it will do. It's okay, still it's fine. I will go for Brian here. Then I will throw another Brian. He can just KO me, I don't need Ducks or Pax here anymore. I think he's over farming to get rid of one of my shields from uh, Houndstune. I don't, I don't like that Swylas in the back. I don't even have uh, X Scissor on Glyzapod. Yes, I already knew that he would make it to a move. Okay, he's doing it's very smart. And if he doesn't have something like a crown tape in the back, I will just lose. No, Toxapex, just too defensive. He uh, got the nice lead. That's why he won. If he started with one of the other two, mm. could potentially win it. But I, uh, yeah, if I switched into Kalizapod, immediately I will lose, so. Next match, Golurk. Okay, he will switch. Clefable, I will go for Tuxapex and just grind to a 100 energy. He can throw two Moonblast at me or Meteor Mash or I don't know what he has. Just does nothing. Only an attack fail is a bit worse for me. Moonblast, I can handle that. I got 100 energy at this point. I think uh, Golurk will come back. Yes, there's the Golark. I will just throw Prime, but Golark is very glassy. Too glassy. But because it isn't the Shadow one, he can tank one Brian. <laughs> no, he has a Swylas in the back. Isn't too good for me. I can make it to a dick here. So I will do that. 
little damage. Um, now I can shield once. Why not? Then I will bait with the psychic thing, so hopefully you will let this go. I mean, I mean shield. <laughs> yes, that went very nice. Then Lick does almost the same amount like a Dragon Breath. And I still got Golisapod, a fairly he healthy Golisapod in the back, so I will win it. Switching into Golisapod straight. And then going just for night slash farm down. I mean uh, shadow claw. To winning the match. So then it's a one lose, one win in the third streak. I think so, yes. I'll bring into the third match of the third streak. Hopefully the most important one. Hopefully we will win. <laughs> Um, against Gods Fox Houndstune against Golur Shadow Goldurk this time, okay. He will switch immediately, I know that. <laughs> now he's staying in. Or he's just switching then. Um, I don't really like the Needle Queen. <laughs> so I will just stay in for right now. Throw some psychic things. I'm letting this one go. Yes, already as I expected the poison thing. Then I will just throw one psychic thing and I will switch into my Toxapex. No, maybe I shouldn't. Um, yeah, he goes for... Poison Fang, I can thank that. But you know this is fine. Golar will get a nice farm down, I know that. That I don't really appreciate. But later I can uh, go for my Hound's Tune and he will use an attack on that. Yeah, he goes straight for an attack. Um, you know, maybe I will shield this one only. Okay, he goes for immediately a back-to-back -back attack. Okay, so I will let this one go. And then try to farm down with Goliath Pot. But the opponent has a Greninja. That's not the best one to see. I will let the first Night Slash go. Oh, it's straight to Hydro Cannon, okay. Okay, giving him a free Water Shuriken, that's fine. Aerial Ace. Okay, if he goes for a Night Slash, then I can just let one. No, one, once again a Hydra Cannon, okay, well, two Water Shurikens, one, two, then I have to throw the Aerial Ace at him, otherwise I'm dead. Um, I hope I can make it to Liquidation. Yes, I can do that, and I'm winning this match, and that's very nice. So it's two wins, two one lose, and hopefully we will win one more time. Going for the next one, the fourth match mm. of the third streak, last two matches of this video against the real Davis Houndstune against. Skeledurge, interesting one, but I'm super effective with my entire team. Ooh, Azumarill, ooh, he's totally dead. 
<laughs> Cannot do anything here. Ice Beam, Play Rough, and Hydro Bump. All of those decks are not very effective against me. So, good luck with that. Maybe just for fun, I will just throw a Sludge Wave. I've already won this match. I know that. Only if he maybe has a Greninja. No, I can handle all of his Pokemon. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Or he's waiting to switch timer. He goes for Skeledurge. Oh, giving him a free Incinerate. Not the best thing to do, but okay. I will just throw the Brine. He will shield it. I don't need Tuxup X really, so he can just Shadow Ball me. I will let this go. Going for Houndstoon. Uh, and he got a Greninja in the back. <laughs> I just guessed it right. Wow. Didn't expect that. Um, I will just throw in the Dick. He shields it, okay. Don't like that very much, but... I can let the Night Slash go, it will not KO me yet, I think. No. <laughs> he uses an attack just before I can attack. But that's fine. Um, not a Night Slash. Still no boost. So I will just throw Glyzapod then. I can tank one of those. Night slashes, so I will do that. Then I will, I think Ariel Ace will KO the Greninja. And then I can make it to a liquidation later. Oh, I will switch. <laughs> then uh, poison the uh, thing uh, farm down. Here I will go for the brine. That will almost KO the Skeledurge, or already, I don't know, but he left the game. <laughs> this will take a little moment, guys, but I finally got him. So yeah, that went very well. So I only won three times and we will hop into the last match of this video. And hopefully we'll win it. <laughs> so we can mm. uh, say we won, uh, I think, 11? No, uh, I mean 9 out of 15 instead of 8. Yeah, right now, Houndstoon against Needle Queen in the last match. A very nice lead, so I will keep it. He tries to make a catch, but he failed. I will throw a Psychic Fang at him, why not? Then switch into Toxapex to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, this poison uh, jabs <laughs> do a lot more than without the defense fell. But Manibus is a very defensive Pokemon, so that's why I did that. Um, he will go for another fall play. I can let it go. Then I will throw the Sludge Wave in. And I think this will KO the Mending Boss. If he doesn't shield, okay. Very nice. Need a Queen? No. Go for Regus. Still a Pokemon that I don't really like. <laughs> it's okay. Will I support time then?
Okay, he's throwing poison fang at me. I can uh, handle one of those. Getting a bit of lag there that I didn't like. I will bait with the aerial ace. And I should, should make uh, an uh, liquidation after that one. Yes, I can do that. Very nice. And then I will throw the liquidation at the Nidia Queen. He shields it once again. Going then for Toxapex. He's going straight for Poison Fang. I will let it go. It can almost KO me. Then I'm making it to a Poison Fang, but I don't think I can. KO the Neo Queen yet. Um, I hope it's not the Earth Power. Okay, Whew, very nice. Here comes Kofa Grigus. It's really nice that he puts an attack on me. But I have to make it to the Psychic thing to win. Can I make it? No, I will not make it. Maybe I uh, should have shielded that poison thing, but you know, at the end, 8 out of the 15, it just a little bit nice. That's okay. It was a nice uh, last Halloween Cup matches. Almost back to the 2500. So maybe Electric Cup will make it to Expert or maybe Legend. But we will see that. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It will help me a lot. And I will see you next time with the Electric Cup. Peace out guys.